Merry Meet YouTubers, this is Lady Grave Dancer, and I am here oh, with no makeup on. I know, I just dyed my hair. I went back black. I got kind of tired of being gray. I decided I'll wait late till later to go completely gray. But I was really shocked to see how much gray hair I had. I knew I had a lot of gray hair, but I didn't realize like almost all of my hair was gray. Anyways, I'm off, to I'm off topic. I wanted to do this collective haul video because I've been just sitting it here and I want to put it all up. And I've been holding it here because I want to do a video on it. So, so yeah. Some of the things that you're going to see in this video, I actually bought two of. Which I'm not going to show the double of it because then you'll know what's going to be in the giveaway video. But there's a few things in this haul that is actually in the giveaway box. So, yes. I'm going to get started. Let's start right here. These. These are um, some Indian incense. And yes, I'm about to do my nails. I swear, I'm all tore up. Just dyed my hair. No makeup on. No nails. I must look pretty rough. Anyhow. Okay. Um, these are Indian incense coils, and they smell amazing. Let me show. Oh God, I love them. They're circles, with, you know, hence coil, and they actually, I've already been burning them, come with this little stand. Let's see. And you actually set it on the little stand thingy and let them burn, but you put the whole coil on there. I burned half of one earlier. And it just sits there, and the whole coil just burns into a circle. It's it's really cool, and it smells so good. Let me show you one that isn't broken. Here's the coil of incense. And you stick it on there. Oh, my God, they smell so good. So, yeah, anyways, I guess two packages of those in there. It smells amazing. You can literally just leave it open and get an amazing smell from it just like that. But, yeah, I got these on um, Amazon, I believe it was. But they smell really, really good. Oh, I got these. Very cool. I just broke my thongs, or tongs, and I found another pair. And this one actually has a pentacle on it. I'm not sure if you can see it. Yeah, it's a pentacle on it to hold my charcoal in it, which I got a couple, but I like to have them everywhere I burn the charcoal so I don't have to run from one room to the other room getting my stuff. And the one that I keep in here was broken, so. Which it was a cheap one. Oh, they have a pentacle on both sides. I didn't even realize that. Look at that. So yeah, I got that. I'm gonna put it up here. And to go with that, I got a whole box of charcoal rounds. Um, if you watched my videos, you know this is probably the fourth box of these that you've seen me put in a haul video in the last year. Um, I don't buy them in big bulk because they dry out. Well, the thing is, is that which with each instant order I get I send a whole roll so I don't actually use maybe just two out of the box myself and then the rest gets sent out so that's why I buy them in big bulk like this because I got all of these for like seven bucks on Amazon so I got a box of copal and honestly I've never had um, copal incense I use the resin and I love it I use it quite often actually and um, I just never bought an incense that was copal it's not that I remember and it actually, it, it smells okay. Kind of reminds me of an old man's perfume that goes to church. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. It smells good on the outside, but I think the other incense rubbed off on it. And then I got, um, what is this one? Cherry almond. I like to go online and find incense that you won't normally find in the store. Like cherry almond. I've never seen in one of my stores that I go to at all. So... Um, I'm hoping that this one is I like that, so I'm going to try that one out. This one, I've never seen in the store, and they only had one left. And if I find more, I'm definitely going to buy more. But this is African 7 Peppers. Again, I like to look for some that you don't find in the store. And you can smell the pepperness in it. I don't know, I'm really excited about it. You can almost feel it in your throat, too, which is weird. Or there's something else going on in here. But yeah, so African Seven Peppers. I ordered this one, and it's in the Chamba. And I like to order a lot of the big ones. That way I don't have to go back every few minutes, you know, every 10, 15 minutes and relight. I like to buy big incense. And I have the big burners for them. Everything. And this one was in the Chamba. And I'm not going to even lie to you. If you see this Voss brand, once you're burning it, it smells nothing but like Mako. It's, it's, it's pretty bad. I'm going to try to dip it in some oils and give it some scent because 
even though the bag smells really good, it did nothing. I already burned one and it was nothing. I put it out because it just smelled like smoke. So, just a heads up on that one. And this one is one that you don't see in the store either and it's baby powder. So, I was really excited about that. I was really excited about all of them because like I said, I like to get stuff that you don't typically see in the store. Oh my god, it smells like baby powder. It's like a baby's butt. Oh, how awesome is that? I look forward to burning that one. Yes, so baby powder. Mint. And this one from the box, it smells just like my mint plants in the front yard. So I'm gonna, it's very nice, very refreshing scented. So, yes, mint. Cherry jasmine. I'm hoping that smells as good as it seems like it's going to. And this is from him, and it smells really good. Oh, I tell you, I am an incense burning fool. I am telling you, it is crazy how much incense I burn. Like seriously, I keep incense companies in business. Next, I got citronella, and that smells just like citronella, and that's what I wanted it to do. I love the smell of citronella. I keep um, citronella plants in the yard because my son is allergic to every insect that there is in the world. But I also love the scent of citronella. It's weird. I, I will be down and I'll get the off candles and I'll be like, my husband's like, you act like they'll smell so good. I really love the smell of citronella. So that's just my weirdness. This one I've never seen before. Vanilla patchouli. And I know I make a candle that is vanilla and patchouli. But I want it to smell on incense because I haven't made one. Oh, and it's heaven. I knew I should have got more than one. I try not to get multiple of what I've never smelt before until I try it out and see if I like it, and then I'll buy more. Oh, that one's good. It smells just like vanilla and patchouli. It makes a good combination, let me tell you. Just like patchouli and orange. Oh, this one is called Gold and Silver, and I ended up getting like five, one, two, five boxes. Who's that trying to get in the door? I ended up getting five boxes of these. They smell really good. I just don't know what they're supposed to smell like. And I don't know why I bought it. Maybe because it said gold and silver. I don't know. Sometimes I do that late night shopping. Oh my God, but they're so strong and they smell so good. Very clean smelling. And then you have the different bags, gold and silver. So I end up getting um, five of those. And it's bewitching. And this is one of my favorite incense. It is so it, it's it's got this witchy scent for one thing and it's just it's really nice and I got 10 boxes because I had been out for a few months oh yes it, it's just very it, it, if I had to sum it up it was like it's gonna be like a um Nachamba dragon blood scented kind of incense I don't know but it's really good and it's one of my favorites and it has a witch on it too Hmm. Oh look, I did get two of the patchouli vanilla. Yay! Okay. Now, one of my favorite incense sticks is this one. So I decided I'm going to try the cones too because I like to burn the cones in my office and see if the cones work as good as the sticks. The sticks are amazing. I mean, I, I buy those in packs of 10 every time that I buy them. Ah, it smells just the same. Oh my gosh. I might have to light one in here tonight. I don't know. Okay. So now we're going to move on to the big incense. Like I said, I like to buy the larger incense. I keep doing this because I got a mirror right there to see the time. Um, because I don't like to have to go relight and relight and relight. So I bought a eucalyptus, which is my son's favorite. And I wanted to smell it to make sure that it was good before I bought more. And it smells just like the one that he loves. So I will go back and buy more. Sorry about that. I had to go let the pug in. She was trying to get in the door. Say hi. Say hi. Say hi. Say hi. Say hi. It's white sage. And I got the big one of that too. And I'm going to open that. Hey, pug. You hear her yawning. And it smells just like a perfume sage stick. It kind of has a soapy scent to it. So I hope it smells better when it's burning <clears throat> I'm not gonna lie to you it's pretty rough for now it's like a cheap soap scent right now this is what they look like and they actually burn for a couple hours so that's one thing that I do like about buying the big incense 
because then they'll go on for a few hours and I don't have to keep redoing. But when I'm working outside in the yard and stuff, I also burn incense. So this might be one that I burn outside. Yeah, so that's white sage from him. It probably smells better. It's just they've all been kind of collided together. So, you know. And then I ordered a big citronella for outside from him. Oh, I love it. It smells like the, the um, off candle. Yes, I'm twisted. I know. I know it. I don't deny it. And then I ordered a big dragon blood and scent. And this is from him as well. And I love dragon blood and this smells so good. I've ordered the small sticks of these. That dog is breaking in the room. I shut the door so you could not come in here. Shut the door, please. I shut that door and you broke in. Wanna smell the dragon blood? <laughs> you can't eat this. But yes, dragon blood. I love it. And there's several different types of dragon blood incense out here, but these are one of the, the gooder ones that I like. I have bought some that people have said were cheaper that actually smelt better than this. I always like to try it for myself. Always burn an incense for yourself because you never know. And this Oh my god, I'm so excited to get, like, so excited. You just don't even know. It's a whole box of frankincense. Is this frankincense? Yes. A whole box of frankincense. Big incense. In here is, I think, a total of 60 sticks. Check it out. Let's see. How to make up. 120 sticks, I think, because I think there's 20 in each. 20, 40, 60, 80. Yeah. 120. I don't know. But that's a lot. Oh, and it smells so good. Frankincense. I bought a whole box of those because you just you go through incense like a bat out of hell. I got a whole box of frankincense. But what would frankincense be without myrrh? So I ordered a whole box of myrrh. And let me tell you, the myrrh tops the frankincense. As you can see, I already opened one. Oh my god, it just smells so... I was going to do this so you could smell it, but it unfortunately doesn't work like that. Oh my god, it smells so good. So good. I'm going to put the links in the down bar. The myrrh was more expensive. The frankincense was um, $10 for all of those. And the myrrh was actually like $26, but I really wanted it. And I decided I was going to treat myself. I got from Bath & Body Works. And you're like, Bath & Body Works? It's not witchy. Well, no, but some of the spirits that I work with they like coffee and tobacco so I actually got a harvest coffee for them and it smells like <laughs> coffee <laughs> it's, whew, you want to smell that J-Burn? and she wants to eat it of course and then I got autumn and it's a very light sweet scent this one was actually bought for myself it wasn't for any particular reason. And then I got um, spice cider. And after I burn these, I will keep the jars for myself. But I um, actually got a really good deal on these. Where These are regular 12 bucks a piece. They were on sale for 2 for 15 And then I had free shipping and 20% off. So I ended up getting all of these candles really cheap for like under 30 bucks. So, And that one smells like cinnamon. And then I think I got two... Now I got one apple pumpkin. I love the fall scents. There's nothing better to me than the fall scents. They didn't have anything like spruce or anything. But that's okay because I make my own. Um, pumpkin carving. I got two of this one. That's nice. Very nice. And then strawberry picnic. I really like that one. It's a very sensual scent. And... I just really like that. So, and this one is a Hecate candle. As you can see, it's black. Well, it's actually like a dark red. What did you knock off my bed? Animals. I, I swear to you, there is a black cat there, a big black lab right there, and then my pug is right there on the floor, and the red cat is sitting over there looking at them like, what the hell are y'all doing on the bed? This is ridiculous. <laughs> She's 
sit down. So yes, it is a burgundy dark color. And it has all the scents in it that um, is required in certain rituals by Hecate. And it also has some gold resin on the top. And some on the bottom. And some other stuff. It's a tobacco scented um, candle for certain spirits that I work with, as I said. It also has chili peppers in it. And some other kinds of stuff in it as well. So, yeah. And in the other room, I have an Isis turquoise candle. And it's over there. And a patchouli candle. But it's over there. So I'm not going to go pick that up. But yeah, so that's all for my haul. I know it was mostly incense and stuff. But I really wanted to share that with you because I don't see very many people burning the large ones. And you can actually get them in most stores for like three or four for a dollar. And a lot of them really smell good. And I just like them a lot. And... I suggest that you go and, like I said, I'll do my best to get the links and put them in the down bar. If I forget, somebody leave a comment and remind me to put it down there and I'll go put it down there because I do get forgetful because I get busy. And I wanted to show this too. This is where I'm at. Yeah. Okay. My friend Trina, she sells these boards and I am going to put her link in the down bar as well. And I have a couple other friends who have Etsy shops. And I want to put their links in the down bar too. Um, Punky Bruiser, my friend Stephanie. She sells candles. Really, really, really nice candles. She has sent me so many. And uh, my friend Erin, who's soon to be um, adding some more, I think she called them smudge fans, on her site and all that stuff. I'm going to put their links to their shops in the down bar. And anybody else who I think you might find something awesome down there along with the link to my Etsy shop. We gotta share the love. You know, it's a sisterhood, brotherhood, and we just gotta show our love with each other. All right guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you at the next video, and as always, blessed be, bye. From concept to